Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be exploring how one can create a Socket.io based web server in Python using the Socket.io module. As always, the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website, TutorialEdge.net and I'll be leaving a link to this tutorial in the description below. So let's first touch a wee bit about WebSockets and what they are and what they can do. So WebSockets are an awesome bit of technology which enable us to do cool things such as real-time communication between both a client and a server. They allow you to perform full duplex communication over a single TCP connection and remove the need for clients to constantly pull API endpoints for updates or new content. Clients can create a single connection to a WebSocket server and simply listen for new events or messages from that server. Now, the main advantage of this is that it reduces the amount of load on a network and can be more efficient for propagating information to a huge number of clients. So say you had a chat system and somebody posts a message. If you have 5,000 people in that chat system, it's far more efficient for your server to send out one message to 5,000 different people as opposed to having 5,000 different clients constantly pull your web service every one second for any new messages. So as you can see here, I've got a very simple front end application written in Angular that is essentially just a chat application. So we can type in messages and essentially in the back end, this will try and push all of these messages to a WebSocket server. And it's gonna be that WebSocket server that we're gonna be implementing in this tutorial. So if you see here, Loads of error connection refused um, because the WebSocket server does not exist yet. So let's take a look at how we can implement that. So coming into Visual Studio Code, you'll see here that I have two main folders. I've got my chat UI and I've got my server. And it's in this server directory that we're going to be creating our WebSocket server, our Socket IO based server. So to get it started, we're, want to, we're going to want to create a really simple AIO HTTP web server. So from AIO, import web. And we're also going to want to import the socket IO module. Now, before you can do this, you'll have to make sure that you've installed this in your local machine. And to do that, you can call pip install socket IO. Once that's taken care of, come in here and we're going to create a socket IO.async server. And we're also going to create an AIO HTTP web application. And essentially what, what we want to do is we want to attach our web application to this async server that we've just created up here. Now, the first thing we want to do is define a very simple index page. So index request and we are going to want to return web.response text equals hello world and content type equals text slash html. Down below this we're going to want to do app.router.addget and this is going to be our root path. So we add this and we set it to equal this async function that we've just defined up here, this async coroutine. Um, next we want to do if name equals underscore underscore main. We want to run web.run app. Perfect. So we've done very little in the way of socket IO based programming yet. That's going to come just in a minute, but we want to quickly check that this is working. So I'm going to open up the integrated terminal and I'm going to come into my server and run python3 server.py and if this doesn't crash we then know that we can come into localhost 8080 give me a second 8080 and you should see that it successfully returns hello world Perfect, we've got the base point for our socket IO base server. So the next thing we want to do is we want to define the following. So SIO on message, def print 
message. And we want to take in the socket ID and the message. And essentially what we want to do is print socket ID SID and print the message that's been passed to it. So just to give you some indication as to what this is doing, every time my front end sends a message, it will send, it will emit a message event or a, an event called message to our socket server. When our socket server sees this, it will then find the associated method and it will execute it, passing in the socket ID and the message. And then at this point, we can handle that socket ID and the message any way we wish to. So if this was a, a multi client chat interface or chat room, um, you would typically expect this to echo out the message to every other client in the chat room that's not the original sender. So this was just a really quick and simple introduction to the art of socket IO programming. In the coming tutorials, we're going to be looking at exactly how we can extend this to handle things like multiple clients, multiple chat rooms, and so on, and create almost like a mini Slack application. So this tutorial series is going to focus more so on the backend side of things for creating a, a simple Slack application. If, however, you're interested in seeing how the, the front end is put together, then I'm going to be leaving a link to the GitHub repo in the description below and I'm also going to be covering some of the Angular concepts that we are using to put together this front end application in a future tutorial series. As always guys, if you found this tutorial useful or would like to give some feedback then please let me know in the comment section below and if you wish to support the channel and help me build um, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Python based tutorials.